Hi guys, so here we are back again. Um, and now I just, this video is going to orient you to um, kind of the structure of our Blackboard course so you know where to find things. And I think I said at the beginning of the um, other um, video, the first video, you'll always land on this announcement page. Um, and again, it's on my view so that we can see everything that may not be visible to you yet. Um, so, uh, so like you're not going to see create announcement, right? That's just for me. Um, but you'll land on the announcement page. I will also always email announcements um, out to you, um, and um, you know it's so that they'll come to your college email. Um, they have to go to your college email, so make sure that you are checking that. And unfortunately, um, we're not able to forward our college email to another email anymore. Um, so you do need to make sure to check your college email or log in here um, every day and look to see if there's been recent announcements. Um, so on the left-hand toolbar is, are all of your navigation tools. Um, we just looked before at the syllabus, right? So you know how to do that. And then the other major place uh, that you're going to find everything is this class materials. Um, for now, the discussions um, are not going to be visible to you because I really want you working through the chapter um, folders. Uh, to make sure you don't miss anything, whereas if you just go straight into the discussions, it's easy to miss something, um, and specifically your small group stuff. Um, so, and then my grades um, will also be visible to you. I'll actually make that visible after the video, um, so it'll be visible uh, by tomorrow morning um, when you guys log in. Um, but let's go to the class material, because everything else you need for the class is going to be there. So. Um, if we come here, uh, you'll see the, that the course orientation where you obviously already are um, in order to access this video. So, um, so hopefully that worked. Um, and you'll see that for every single folder you have here, chapter folder, um, they're going to look very much the same. That um, I'm going to scroll down here so you can see um, some of the ones that are um, in the chapter. So starting Monday, um, we'll do introduction and history. The chapter folders will appear to you on the day we start the chapter. I want everyone working together on the same material, the same way we would be if we were in a classroom together, right? That if you were in a class, if we were in a classroom, you'd show up on Monday, and that's when we would start chapter one. Um, and and so we're doing the same thing here because I want us working as a class uh, rather than have this be an independent study. Um, and so you'll see, you know, what these chapters look like is um, that they show up on the day they start. Every one of these chapter folders tells you right at the top what day does it start, what day does it end. Um, and then it tells you what chapter in the textbook you're reading. It tells you there's lecture videos for you to watch. Um, and it tells you um, that you have, a, in this case, a whole class discussion prompt um, for this first chapter and that the initial post is due on Thursday the 28th and you need to reply to classmates by Sunday the 31st. Um, and then you have a muddiest points discussion, which I mentioned in the last video, which is um, you have to post a question about the material and then answer at least one classmate's question. Um, and your question has to be posted by Thursday the 28th with replies due on the 31st. So hopefully you're seeing that there is a very predictable pattern to when things appear, to when things end, to when things are due. Um, you can see in the current paradigms. Um, folder, the same kind of um, information in the heading, uh, opens on Monday the 1st, closes on Sunday the 7th, read chapter 2, watch the lecture videos, in this case we start having our small group discussions with a graded assignment, um, and that's due on the 7th. Again, the work is finished on the 7th, but you can't earn full credit if you only show up on the 7th and all of your classmates have been talking all week. Um, so you need to make sure that you're uh, paying attention to that. Um, and then the muddiest point discussion, question by the 4th, right Thursday, replies by Sunday the 7th. And so that is going to be very predictable throughout this. So, uh, so um, these will appear in order as we get to them. Um, the things you can already see, right? So if I come over here to your view, there we go. Um, right, if we go back to class material, the things you guys can already see um, are uh, things that are not about the chapters. And so uh, in the next video, we'll talk about your term paper assignment, um, but that's already there for you to view. Um, you have a note that exam one will be available. 
um, uh, starting on February 22nd, your Works Cited page for your term papers due, right? So these things that you can kind of work ahead on or have on your radar um, are already um, all um, set up there. So I come back out of the preview and go back to my view. Um, there we go. Um, and so what you'll see, right, is that things will appear in order. So if we scroll down here, if I can scroll, um, right, after we finish research methods, which is our fourth chapter, um, exam one becomes available. Um, and um, it'll have four essay questions, right? You, you're not going to be able to see the exam itself, but you can see that it's available in my view. Um, and as you move through, you know, you'll see that things will always appear in order. Um, and so um, it should be fairly easy and straightforward to navigate. Um, if we go inside the first chapter, right, you guys can't see this yet, but what we see, and this will be the same in every single chapter folder, um, you have uh, lecture videos, just like the one you're watching now, right, with me, um, where I have PowerPoint slides that you can see, and I'm talking um, over them. I'm not reading the PowerPoint slides. I'm talking about content related to each slide and explaining things um, in my words. Um, so make sure, and you'll see like the first one of these is nine minutes, the second one is close to 11 minutes. And that's, you know, maybe as long as 15 minutes, but uh, bite-sized chunks. Um, and then I'll always make the static slides available too, if you wanna download them for note-taking um, or for studying. And so um, you can download the static slides um, as the, that also appear in those videos. Um, and then you have, um, following that, this is the chapter one discussion prompt, right? And um, in, in this first chapter, I'm reminding you that they're required and that they're 15 points each. Um, and in this first one, you've got bolded reminders about due dates. Um, in later chapters, I won't put the due dates inside here as well because you'll have them in that heading. Um, but right, and so then I give you what the prompt is. And then if you um, click on that prompt, it brings you here, you create a thread. When you're creating a thread, so you create a thread, you look at my prompt, you think, what do I want to say about that? What do I have to say about that? Make sure you put a subject heading on that thread, right? So if you create a thread, um, it opens up a box like this. Put a subject heading that um, tells us a little bit about what you're talking about. If everybody puts chapter one, um, then there's no easy way to go back and find um, material that was interesting to you and you want to reference again. No easy way to find uh, discussion of things that that you didn't understand or want, want to think more about. Um, and so um, just make sure that um, you put subject headings that, um, come back here, um, that are descriptive in some way. Um, and then the muddiest point will work the same way. You have the prompt here um, and you have to post a question and then later go back and read other people's questions and answer them. Um, I will say this. If you treat the discussions just like boxes to check off, um, like that's an assignment, got that done, um, they will not serve their purpose for you. Um, you will earn some points, but the purpose of these is the per it is the same as the purpose of you coming into class if we we're in a physical classroom. Um, it's to engage in the material, it's to um, discuss the material, it's to learn the material. I've been doing this a really long time. I did online teaching uh, prior to COVID. Um, I know from years of experience that people who engage fully in the discussions and use them as a learning place do really well on exams and people who don't tend to do worse on exams. Um, so from a very practical learning point of view, those discussions really are where a lot of the learning is happening. Um, all right, so let's see if there's anything else in here before we go on to talk about the term paper in a separate video. I think that's it, right? So hopefully you have a sense of how things are set up. I can't emphasize enough. Everything is on this class materials page. Um, that if, if all you ever do is log in and click on the class materials page, everything you need is here. There's no place else you need to go. Okay. All right. So um, we'll have one more video and, uh, and then we'll be done. Um, and, and you hopefully can start reading chapter one, getting ready for Monday.